Mitzvahs betelos la'asid lavoi. Will commandments really be void when Mashiach comes? It's a Gemara. It's a Mame Chazal. So it's true. The question is only what it means. And there are various discussions, various Sifri Hashkafa about this question. But in Hasidus, this idea is discussed uh, rather comprehensively, very involved. And the culmination of all of this is in a sikhra that the Rebbe gave out in Tishrei Tovshin Nun Beis, which was in lieu of a Hadrin. Right? Every year we would finish Rambam. And each time we finish Rambam, the Rebbe would say a talk which represented the Hadrin at the end of Rambam. So beginning with Tovshin Mem Hei, Mem Hei, Mem Vav, Mem Zay, Mem Ches, Mem Tes, Nun Nun Aleph, there were seven Hadronim. And for the most part, each of these Hadronim were the last halachas of Rambam. When it came to Tafshin Nun Beis, the Rebbe made a hadr, it was Tishrei time. But instead of speaking on the end of the Rambam, he spoke on this Indian. Of, of this, in lieu of a hadr, he spoke on this Indian. And it was And first of all, I want to say that it seems to me, it's my humble opinion, that there are two sikhs of the Rebbe from that period which act as a sequel to one another. They're Hemshech. Shvuas, the summer before, Tavshin Nun Aleph, the Rebbe spoke about Teira Chadosha, Me'iti Teiti, the Teira of the times of Mashiach. And then the following Tishrei, he spoke about the Teira not of Mashiach, but of Elam Haba, after Yemesa Mashiach. And the Rebbe drew a distinction between the word mitzvah and the word halacha. And he said, mitzvah is betelos liyasad lovei, but halacha is of which is basically a paraphrase of a Yerushalmi, which is the basis of that sikh. You have to look up the Yerushalmi carefully to find it. So there's another word, this conflicting Maim Chazal. One Maim Chazal says, Mitzvah betelis liyasid, and the other one says, Halachas of Teresh Vapeh, Einan betelis liyelam. And what the Rebbe explains is, the Torah the Abish gave us is eternal. And the eternity of Torah is not just that it's theoretically true, but that's going to be permanently manifest. It will always be expressed. But there is a level called a mitzvah. Mitzvah means a commandment. And a commandment assumes a commander and a commandee. Hashem tells us, and we choose to listen to Him. What's not going to be la'asad lavi is that we're not going to have the kind of independence where we're going to have a choice to listen to Him and not to listen to Him. Because in El Babo, we're going to become an extension of a lakus. Chiyas HaMethim is going to be world of godliness. So we're going to do mitzvahs. But not as mitzvahs, but as halachas. And the Rebbe has a lengthy explanation of what the word halacha means. In that siche, that it means to grow from level to level, from strength to strength. But without the mitzvah element, without having been commanded and we'll do it, we'll sort of do it automatically, that'll be our basic nature. And the Rebbe goes on to discuss in that siche many other ideas, including the idea of machlekes miskayim, that we can actually do all opinions of every argument in Allah simultaneously because in, in the realm of Ilam Haba, when Nimna and Nimnois reign supreme, opposites can exist. Mm-hmm.